Hello, Collective. It's your girl, Tiffany, Metamalicious Web Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it will be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign, so please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading can apply to your past, your present, or your future, as well as it may be pertaining to yourself or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. With that being said, guys, we are going to get started. I do hope everyone is doing well and feeling well. Please govern yourselves accordingly. So the first message we have here is heartbroken. Somebody could be heartbroken by something here. Um, you could be deeply hurt or sad, feeling lost, grieving, or dealing with some type of despair or breakup at this time. The bottom of the deck, we have shock here. There could have been something shocking that took place, a tower moment, something happening all of a sudden out the blue, some type of sudden change, shocking news, surprises, or epiphanies, or even a transformation in some way, shape, form, or fashion. So let's see what else is going on here. So we have sunglasses here. Somebody is watching, looking, uh, stalking and somebody in some type of way. Somebody who, is, who uh, feels heartbroken by something could be watching somebody uh, or stalking or harassing somebody in some type of way here, guys. So what else is going on here? We have the clock here, okay? So somebody is needing some type of time, okay? This talks about cycles and taking time or having time to heal, uh, progressing in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion here. I feel like there may have been a separation or a breakup that took place between someone that somebody is feeling some type of way about here. So this person is like lurking around and stalking and watching somebody, but somebody is just needing some time to themselves, time to heal, um, a situation here okay this could be perhaps what somebody told somebody here somebody may have met up with somebody this says meeting talking savoring the moment feelings uh, is, uh, elevated or building some type of friendship here somebody could have um, somebody could have finally spake with somebody and they told them hey look I just need some time uh, to myself to figure things out or what's going uh, you know pertaining to the situation okay um we have not enough here as well here okay so something somebody said or tried to do somebody could have tried to reconcile with somebody but it wasn't enough here somebody is also lacking some type of confidence or some type of self-sabotage ego and fear or even frustrations that's taking place in a relationship yeah we got the chaser at the bottom of the deck so somebody is chasing somebody somebody's very codependent have a fear of abandonment and so they're chasing after somebody um hope heartbroken by some type of separation or breakup or whatever and now they're stalking watching and harassing someone okay but they themselves need to take some type of time here um to go through these 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 cycles here to a uh, time to heal a situation here okay but it's like somebody is like desperately wanting to talk to someone get back with someone or something like that i feel like uh somebody could have been avoiding somebody's cause avoiding seeing someone but uh possibly could have noticed that somebody has been watching them looking for them stalking them and they finally told them hey look I just need some time to heal or whatever and this person could have just you know been seeing whatever doing whatever but it wasn't enough here okay there's some type of self-sabotage somebody's got a huge ego though um it's fear of, in, in fear of losing somebody for good um somebody could also be lacking some type of confidence but there's definitely some type of frustration and with the chaser at the bottom of the deck somebody is chasing someone okay is like determined to um, make somebody be with them in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion. Let's see what else is going on here, guys. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing if you'll be so kind to. It's greatly appreciated, and I thank you in advance. what's going on here clarify this heartbroken there could have been some type of third party situation that was going on 
Spirit, clarify heartbroken. Yeah, somebody was definitely juggling lovers. This could, somebody could have found out about this, okay? And there was some type of breakup or separation that took place. Yeah, that was definitely some type of third-party situation with the Three of Cups here. There was a third wheel. Somebody was cheating. So, to clarify, sunglasses. So, somebody's lover is definitely watching them, looking for them, uh, stalking them, harassing them in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion. So, to clarify, the clock. Yeah. Somebody is needing some time, but there's definitely some type of jealousy, some type of envy, hatred, spitefulness. Somebody may even want revenge on somebody. Somebody's just really feeling kind of jealous and envious of uh, a third party situation that was going on. Okay. And some type of separation or breakup that is happening. Spirit, clarify the coffee cup. So we literally have the ego here. Somebody definitely has a huge ego here, okay? I feel like even if, uh, even when this person got in contact with someone and was able to speak to someone, they were very egotistical, uh, could have been very uh, cocky or conceited or, you know, uh, convinced of their own bullshit type of thing, trying to create some type of illusions, gaslight somebody here. Somebody's definitely got some codependency issues. Somebody is definitely very materialistic as well here, okay? This was the eight of earth that just fell out. Somebody could be working. Somebody may work with someone they were lovers with or dealing with or involved with, okay? So we're clarifying not enough. Clarify not enough. So we got the five of air here. So there's still some type of conflict here, okay? Arguments, uh, fighting, fussing, cussing, disagreements, misunderstanding. Somebody made a mistake. There's definitely some melodrama in a situation. Somebody could be doing some type of reassessments here, okay? This is somebody from your past, clearly. This is someone that you broke up from. This person is definitely sending a lot of uh, swift communication, messages, news, information. This person could be calling back to back to back, emailing, texting back to back to back, or whatever, trying to get you to uh, talk to them, okay? But I feel like there's been a completion of a cycle. Something has gone full cycle. Something is coming to, has come to an end for something new to begin, but somebody is still chasing somebody, Okay. That's what's going on here, y'all. Spirit, uh, what other messages? What other messages? Yeah, somebody wants to reach some type of goal here. Somebody has is putting a lot of purpose into something because they have some type of expectations um, that they, you know, want somebody. Spirit, clarify this heartbroken in this three of water. Somebody is very stubborn as well here. Somebody could be very selfish, okay? Um, somebody also could have an attitudinal problem, have an attitude. Um, is very arrogant in some type of way. Spirit, clarify sunglasses. Yeah, so we have uh, indulgement here, okay? So somebody is trying to persuade someone, bribe someone, or even tempt somebody in some type of way here. Um, somebody could have even tried to, like, <laughs> bribe somebody with some type of money to take them back or, or something. We got loneliness here on clock with the five of one. Somebody is feeling lonely now, okay? Somebody is dealing with some type of dullness in their life, disappointment, or isolation is going on. There's some type of breakup or separation has taken place. Spirit, click by the coffee cup and ego. Coffee cup and ego. Somebody is just feeling overloaded by the situation, just really overwhelmed by the situation, okay? Um, yeah. Somebody may even have a family with someone. You may have children with this person or y'all were in a serious committed relationship for quite a long time. There's definitely conflicts I see here. Somebody with fury being here. Somebody is definitely mad as hell. This talks about ops, uh, offense, madness, unpleasantness here, okay? Somebody is just like really, like really pissed off by a situation. Somebody is mad as hell. There's a lot of yelling, cursing, fussing, fighting, disagreements that's going on as it relates to this situation.
somebody's like somebody wanted some type of eternal love with someone but it's like it's like it's like um you know that saying you never miss a good thing until it's gone type of thing here there was just a lot of deception and temptation here spirit what else is going on clarify heartbroken three of cups with stubbornness yeah, somebody found out some type of truth or clarity about, you know, uh, somebody seeing another woman or something like that, okay? Somebody found out the truth about some type of third-party situation. And because of this, it caused a major tower here. It caused a, a breakup suddenly, unexpectedly, all of a sudden out the blue. And now somebody is like stalking somebody, watching somebody, harassing somebody, lurking around, looking for someone, okay? Yeah, somebody is in... Uh, in feel some type of guilt here due to some type of sabotage here okay somebody feel like they sabotage themselves they sabotage their own connection their own relationship in some type of way shape form or fashion spirit clarify the coffee cup yeah now somebody somebody wants to talk to somebody okay um but somebody is closed off somebody is guarded this is this is resistance here somebody is resisting the situation here spirit clarify not enough with the five of swords I keep seeing family. Somebody definitely have a family with someone here. Y'all are either uh, in a serious committed relationship or either um, you all actually have children together, had a family together. If you don't have children together, you could have been married or something like that. Because I keep seeing something about family. Yeah, somebody is dealing with some type of lack and suffering right now. So we're clarify not enough, five of swords and fury. Yeah, somebody, somebody like literally tried to like maybe buy somebody something or offer them some type of money or something thinking they was going to, that was going to um, get this person to let their guards down, to let them back in their energy in some type of way. Spirit clarify, not enough. Yeah, look, somebody seriously has a huge ego man like somebody is like full of it they sure themselves let's talk about vanity and pride uh this is this is like one of them type of people who are like attractive you know the, the people who like fine and they know they fine okay and they feel like you know they can pull anybody type of thing so like they kind of treat people like shit or what have you this person has a huge ego even like even trying to get some person somebody back this person won't drop the ego won't really humble themselves like feel like oh i can just you know i can throw this person some money i can buy this person some flowers and a card and they you know they're gonna be wrapped right you know right back wrapped around my finger type of shit somebody has a huge ego and somebody is just closed off and guarded to this bullshit there's a resistance to this relationship here and somebody's feeling guilt for sabotaging this relationship sabotaging this connection here yeah we got disharmony triggers and conflict here so there's definitely a lot of conflict in this situation somebody is chasing somebody though somebody is codependent somebody may have uh drug addictions alcohol addictions possibly even sex addictions in some type of way shape form or fashion here that's what's going on here y'all but somebody needs time to heal the situation. They need time to themselves, time to think about what they really want to do in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion here. Spirit, are there any other messages as it relates to the situation? Any other messages? So I see Raina Ruda. This talks about loyalty here. Somebody definitely wasn't loyal to someone here. Broke some uh, some type of loyalty. Broke some type of trust. Here. We got truth here, with uh, which talks about um, aura. Here, somebody found some type of found out the truth that somebody there was no loyalty in the situation here. Okay, now somebody is like stalking somebody, watching somebody. clarify the clock with the five of wands somebody is also like very jealous or envious that of this competition somebody could be very glamorous 
or into beauty or fashion or something like that yeah we have gratitude rampage here it's already happened here so something has already already taken place already happened in the situation yeah this says future love letter i love you so somebody like literally when they was able to reach somebody meet up with somebody or talk to them they just thought that they would be able to say oh i love you and everything was going to be cool but somebody was closed off and guarded to the situation here somebody could have even asked for that key back uh, my buddy which talks about the key here. Somebody could have asked for their key back here. Somebody's like really mad as hell. Okay. Somebody's totally full of it here. Somebody has a huge ego. Somebody like literally thought that they was going to be like, oh, I love you. And, you know, get this person, you know, try to get this person some type of uh, money or something like that or whatever. And, and they thought all was going to be well. All was going to be good. This person was just going to, you know, be back with them in some type of way. Or whatever but somebody wasn't buying the bullshit somebody could even ask this person back uh you know ask for their key back spirit what else is going on here somebody's trying to have strength in this situation here this comes from archangel ariel strength and grace through kindness self-confidence and forgiveness here so somebody just need to have strength here but i feel like somebody is like done done with the world here there's just been a completion of a cycle uh something has come to an end for something new to begin here okay something just has gone full cycle or full circle here okay somebody just needs to learn from the spiritual growth and insight that they got from this situation yeah with the moon card being here there was a lot of things that was hid that were secret that somebody was doing behind the scenes behind closed doors behind someone's back here okay this has the opportunity to improve improve your plans listen to your intuition for accurate guidance face your fears and grow stronger from the situation yeah with the ace of michael here this talks about truth and clarity here this has a wonderful new idea don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress clear up communication problems with others so somebody is like not speaking to somebody anymore it's like pissing them off because they just want to talk to them but this person is like have such a huge ego they literally think that they could just show up and be like oh i love you though and you know offer them some type of gift of some kind and think you know all is going to be well yeah the ten of michael something is definitely done here this is like the ten of swords in the traditional tarot deck so there was like betrayal there was this loyalty that definitely brought a situation to an end okay somebody is finally free from this situation um but you got new opportunities for happiness that's coming in okay spirit is telling you to put the past behind you and somebody ain't trying to hear that with the chaser here somebody is like chasing somebody somebody's even promising to marry somebody here with the chaser wedding uh rings here unless you were already married to this person here we got the sword in the rose though so somebody know the clarity and truth to this situation here but with the hammer being here this is uh, sabotage it talks about sabotage and rebuild persistence working on it repairing somebody wants to repair this relationship but somebody is done okay this could have been a twin flame connection here okay but it seems like it's over here we got key keys on a ring here so somebody's got many options possibly many options that they ain't willing to let go they just want to spew out bullshit and think a person is supposed to believe it it's like narcissistic shit okay somebody got an unconventional way of doing things okay it says one night stands and string along so somebody is really stringing somebody along they still having one night stands still in third party situations but somebody is not buying it okay and it's a trip because somebody's got a lot of options spirits say anyway okay so that's what's going on here guys i do hope that this is giving you the truth and the clarity that you were seeking pertaining to a situation that you might be dealing with for those of you who would like to contact me you can do so at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com you can also follow me on instagram which is shine bright like a diamond 36 with the underscore between each word for any persons um interested in donating to the channel it is greatly greatly appreciated i do thank you in advance you can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tip diamond three six. 
or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash at 36 diamonds. As always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies, honey. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There's wickedness in high places, and there's evil that's lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings, watch the company you keep, watch surroundings in the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God.